Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to manage translation in Kobo 2. Let's say, for example, you want to um, carry out uh, an asset, or you want to carry out a survey in a uh, community in Africa, and you need to translate your form to the language that the people will understand. Uh, you can do that in Kobo 2. So you can translate uh, to any languages that you want in Kobo 2. So how are we going to do that? So let's jump into it. The first thing that I'm going to do is to click on new and I'm going to click on give and trash. And I'm going to, the project name, let me name it language, languages form, right? And the sector, I'm going to use other. For the description, you can write whatever you want. For the country, I'm going to use Nigeria. And I'm going to click on create project, right? To create a project. And it's going to take us to the form builder interface where you see this form is currently empty. You can add questions, create prompts, or other field by clicking on the plus sign here. So I'm going to click on this plus sign. And the first question that I'm going to ask will be let me see what is your name. And I'm going to click on add question. I'm going to use text. The second question, let me see what, let me see what is your Marita status? And I'm going to click on add question. I'll use single or marriage. And I can also say that, um, let's see what is your name, Marita status, gender. What is your gender? So I'll click on it and I'm going to use male or female. Now I'm going to save it. So we need to translate this form to, I'm going to translate it to French, right? So we need to translate this form to French. Let's say you are working in a community in France and you want to translate this form to the people in that community. Um, so what we need to do is to return to list. So I'm going to go to the form. The form is languages form. Now, what I need to do is I'm going to, you can see this project has no languages defined yet. You can click on manage translation here, or you come to more action button. Then you click on it, then you click on manage translation. So I'm going to click on this manage translation. By default, we all know that the form is in English. But we want to translate it to French. So how are we going to do that? So the first thing I'm going to do is, in order to switch the form to any language that we want, I'm going to first of all use English, right? And the default language in English is EA. So how did I get this? You can see here you can add more languages to the project and translate the string to each of them. For the languages code, we suggest using this official language. If I click on it, it's going to take me to this place over here where you will see the, all the languages, all the languages in the world. You can search for, if for example, if I search for this language, AUSA, AUSA is a language in, in Nigeria, you can see AUSA language and the sub tag. So we are, we are going to need the name of the language and the sub tag of the language, right? So let me go back. Let me go back because this is English. The default language code of English is EN. How did I get it? Let me search for English here. So if I search for English, let me search for. So you can see type language sub tag EN. You can see the sub tag, which is the language code. The description of the language is English. Added is also here, right? So let me go to this place and click on set. So I have the default language. So what I need to do again is to click on update translation. So you can see this is the original string and this is the English, right? This is the English language. So I'll click on save to save the form, right? Now I'll close it. So I have the default language to the English. So if I want to add another language like French, so how am I going to do it? So I'll go back again. And I'm going to click on Add Language. And this place, I'm going to write French. 
And for the language code, I can search from here. I'm going to leave this in the description below. So I can search for French. And the language code of French is FR, right? It's FR. So I'm going to go back and type FR. And I'm going to click on Add, right? After clicking on Add, I'm going to click on the Update Translation. So I can translate. Now I can translate from the original script to French translation. So how am I going to do that? Because I'm not so good in French. So I'm going to go to the internet and I'm going to type English. So let me type English to French, right? So what I need to do is to copy this. What is your name? I'm going to copy it and paste it here. And you can see what is your name is Quell Estone. No, I'm very sorry. I don't know. So I'm going to copy it and come out it and paste it here. Yeah, I have Maita status. What is your Maita status? I'll copy it and paste it here. Right? Quell Estone. So I'm going to paste it here. For the gender, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to come to this place, paste it and copy go back again paste it here single i'm going to go to this page and type single single is called celibate so i'm going to copy it paste it here married is uh, let me write it here married is marie and so i can copy let me just copy this copy this Come down to this page and paste it here. For male, I think for male, let me type male. Male is called male. So I'm going to paste it here. For female, I'm going to copy it and paste it here. After that, then what I need to do is to click on save changes, right? And it's going to save. So I need to go back, right? Now I have English and I also have French. You can add as many languages as you want. So now what I need to do is, let me click on deploy to deploy the form to server. So after de deploy the form to server, I'm going to click on open. Now I'm going to add this. So you can see we have the default language in English. So I can switch the languages to French, you can see. So that is how to change languages in Kobo 2.0.